Hey guys, happy Independence Day week. It's me, Heather. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so excited to be bringing you this 4th of July food collaboration. Um, I have a few friends who have decided to share some recipes with you guys because as you know, we've been at home cooking a lot and sometimes we can get in a rut going to parties. We never know what to bring. It's like the same old thing over and over. And so we thought we would inspire you if you have a cookout that you need to go to or if you're actually just going to cook something at home. We wanted to inspire you with some new recipes that maybe you've never tried before and hope that you find something new that you can add to your menu from time to time. So without further ado, I'm going to be sharing with you everyone who is participating. So today I'm going to be making a black bean salad. It's so full of flavor and the ingredients are so minimal. You guys are gonna be so surprised how easy it is, how quickly you can put it together. Um, and like more than likely you have all of these ingredients in your home already. So that is like, everything is a win-win and it's healthy. It's healthy and it tastes good. So you really can't beat it. All right, let's go ahead and get in the kitchen and start making this dish. All of the ingredients you see here are exactly what goes in this dish. You've got black beans, you've got corn, lime, onion, cilantro, and tomatoes. If you wanna get a little spicy, throw some jalapeno in it as well. I've done that in the past, but because Michaela doesn't like that, I opted out of it. The hardest part is going to be chopping up your tomatoes and your onions and your cilantro. That's literally the hardest part of this recipe and look how vibrant those colors are. They absolutely look so beautiful. So again, first things first, you're going to need some black beans, any kind. You can use organic, you can use regular, whatever black beans float your boat. You're going to need a can of black beans. Next, you're going to need a can of corn. Yes, I have two here, but I ended up not needing that much. You kind of want to go one can of each. You're gonna want to drain and rinse off those black beans until you see no more particles fall out of the colander and you wanna make sure that there's no murky water coming out of it. You just wanna really make sure that all that sludge is off your, your beans and then kind of shake the water off when you are done. Here is how it looks before I've stirred it all together. This just always blows me away. It's just so eye-pleasing, it's so beautiful. Again, here I'm basically just saying I didn't use the extra can of corn. One is plenty. And next you're going to use lime. You're just gonna cut your lime in half and I only used half of the lime in it and that was absolutely perfect. So I cut it in half and I just drizzled it and I kept squeezing it until I got all of the juice out of the half piece of lime. It is so, Good. I mean, you can use more lime if you wanted to, but this was absolutely perfect for no more than I've got here. Obviously, if you're going to double the recipe, then go ahead and use a whole lime. I'm following that up with some pink Himalayan sea salt and ground black pepper. You can use white pepper if you would like as well. But that is it, guys. And you can see like deep on here, you can see all the pepper and the salt. It just looks so good. I could eat that entire bowl by myself. I'm not even kidding. It is so, so good. So I'm just going to incorporate that here together and show you what it looks like put together. And here it is plated over some seasoned brown rice and baked chicken. It looks so stunning. It is absolutely the showstopper on this plate where everything kind of looks dreary. It adds that perfect pop of color. And I actually added a little bit more cilantro at the end. I absolutely love cilantro. And if you don't, you don't even have to use it, but I highly recommend it. 
it is delicious. I told you guys how easy that was, right? And it is so delicious. I hope you guys will try it out. I hope that you guys have a wonderful 4th of July. Make sure to check everyone else out in this collaboration and see their delicious recipes. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.